So now we need to work on the HTML code of the page, of the index.html page. So what we need to display, obviously, is that we need to display an input where the user will be able to send a message or a response to the chatbot and also a button in order to send that response. And also we need to display uh, the chat itself, the conversation itself. So how can we do that? Well, we need here to uh, have, obviously, uh, the HTML uh, code for this. So what I'm going to do is that here, first of all, I'm going to just leave this H1 and I'm going to say here, just chat bot. And you can, you can type whatever you want here. And then I'm going to here create a dev. I'm going to first create a dev. And that dev is going to have the um, is going to hold the conversation itself, the chatbot itself, the chat conversation. So here I'm going to say dev, and then I'm going to create another dev, another dev here. Here, let me create another dev. And that dev is going to have uh, an ID called, is going to have an ID called ch chat box. So this is going to uh, hold the conversation, the chat box. And inside that chat box, I'm just going to display a, a um, an initial message uh, that the chatbot is just going to send initially because we don't want to leave the user um, uncertain about what's going on. We need to let the user know that this is a chatbot and he or she must start interacting with it. So I'm going to say here, uh, I'm going to add here paragraph tag and then inside it I'm going to also add span. So this paragraph this paragraph, I'm going to give it a class. I'm going to give it here a class. And uh, that class is going, to, is going to be named here uh, a bot text. Because obviously, this is the text that, that's uh, going to be sent by the chatbot. And let's say something like, hi there, hi there, because this is a chatbot. And uh, once the user goes to this page, it's just going to display this message uh, initially. And then, and then, of course, as the user sends messages and interacts with the chatbot, we need to inject the, the messages here and display them in the chat uh, box later. I'm going to show you how you can do that. But for now, we need to create another dev here, just below this one. And that dev is going to let the user send the messages. So I'm going to here create another dev and I'm going to give it an ID called user input, user input. And then inside that user input, I'm going to add two inputs, two inputs, one input for the one input for the text itself that the user is going to send and another input for the button. So the first input is going to have an ID, again an ID because we want to style all of these elements. So I'm going to say here text input, text input, and this input is going to um, have a type of text because obviously this is a text text. And then I'm going to also give it a uh, name. We need the name. The name is very important in order to get the text. So I'm going to give it a name of message, just message or user message, just to be um, user message, just to make sense here. And then I'm going to also uh, add a placeholder because we want to give the user a an awesome user experience. So I'm going to say here, uh, type your message, type your message and then the other input is for the button and I'm going to also give it an ID and the ID is going to say it's going to be a button input button input and the type the type must be submit submit because this is a button and the value the value where the text is going to be displayed on that button whatever you want to display on that button, I'm going to display send. Send, just send. And now we have this code, and this is uh, this is going to be the code uh, of this page, the index.html. Let me now run our, uh, our uh, project and show you what's going to happen. Of course, it's going to display this, this uh, HTML code, but of course it doesn't have any styles yet, so it's not going to look awesome, but let me just show you what's going to happen. Let me run my script. I'm going to here start debugging and I'm going to show you what's going to happen. 
So let me now head on over back to the browser and refresh and show you this page. Now this page is uh, deployed on the main um, main uh, root, which is just forward slash. So if I refresh, so as you can see now, we have this uh, this uh, page. We have here h1, and then we have here hi there sent by initially by the bot, and we also have here an input and a button. Of course, we need to add designs to these elements in order to make our application look amazing.